Thank you for being here. As you all know, I am Aurora and this is Tamra. And she is here today because uh, most of you, the majority of you all, most likely saw her session, A Thousand Entities Removed with uh, the aid of the RAW, the RAW Collective, the Guardians, um, you know, but they go by many different names. So overall, it's basically the oneness of love and equality that they work upon. And she was such a beautiful surprise for me specifically. I knew that that morning when I woke up and I saw, I remember looking at the date as I often do and looking at, it said 3 19 and they said, today's you're going to have a special one, though they're also very special okay. and dear to our heart. And every single one of them is just as significant as the other. Um, but yes, I prepared myself. I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> um, and so this is Tamara. She had her session again, three nineteen nineteen, and boy, did it wow us! It just a blue and it uh, blew so many different, um, so many you know minds, bodies, and souls. Right now, it is at about eleven thousand five hundred and forty-one views, which is a really good amount for. A hypnosis session, a very uh, significant and an amount of that is that it is reaching many. So thank you, Tamara. Um, yeah, thank, thank you. you for being here. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Yes, and if you could tell us a, a little bit about you, because uh, people have really just watched your session and they have fallen in love with who you are, how it was that you carried yourself, your messages that were so clear, highly spoken through your um, higher self and that that you had such a deep clear connection with the raw you know a beautiful channel yeah. there through the hypnosis so tell us a little um, about about who you are and what you do and thank you mm -hmm. um so a little bit about who i am <laughs> i'm discovering who i am actually through that hypnosis was a huge discovery mm -hmm. um i had been meditating for years but not really knowing what i was doing but i've studied a lot um i really wanted to get deep into the science of it and understanding the alchemy and things like that mm -hmm. um, then i decided to really meditate in a very different way and I started having very bizarre journeys where I would just go into caves or whatever I every one of them was very different but I got really connected and there was a few times where I would be meditating and something would be trying to talk through me mm. and I didn't understand what that was mm -hmm. so that's what I started looking for you <laughs> Because I wanted some guidance on what is happening. <laughs> How was it that you found me? So I am taking a NLP and hypnosis course mm -hmm. local here in town. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the owner of that company actually suggested I look up Dolores Cannon based on the information that I had given him about the experiences. So I started watching a couple of them. And one of them was where you channeled Dolores or it was your session. I'm not sure which one it was. All I remember is I watched part of it and immediately was drawn. Like that's, this yes. is it. So I watched a couple was more it the one and I was. Mm -hmm. Where she announced uh, her higher self. Is that the one? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. That's the that, one. That I channeled yes. that one. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so I watched a couple more and I remember watching one and just there's this presence right behind me here and then a softer one here. Mm -hmm. And both of them at the same time just lit me up. And it's like, right now, make your session right now. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to afford that right now. I feel it. that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I wow. did and it happened to be the one day that was perfect was... March 1919 and and it was just magic it was just magic <laughs> it, it was <laughs> truly magical yeah wow <laughs> wow yes I, I cannot express enough to you um your session since then there has been 
so many people. Have you had a chance to read the comments on YouTube for it? I did. I had a friend um, ask me, she goes, have you seen the comments on there? It's like, I haven't looked at it since I watched it the one time. She goes, you should probably go check it out. <laughs> and so I did. And oh, my heart is just so full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that whatever it was that came through me was able to gift so many people. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, there was um, people just like just like um, Michael said, you know, through the session, he said that they were going to find the session. And they sure did, you know, sharing their experiences on there, talking about how they felt, how they felt even a releasement just from watching the video and how or yeah. there was some people even trying to research and figure out why they felt so different. Did you see some of those comments? Yes. Why they felt so different and they ran across also happened, you know, how the divine plans it. And then they're like, oh my goodness, I knew that, you know, something happened in me say yesterday or whenever they felt it. And here is the video that I've been searching for and just there and, and, uh, what what you've done as the beautiful soul that you are um have created such a beautiful ripple upon earth upon gaia upon our earth mother upon the divine mother you know and you are just uh wow I, it's, it's hard to express you know it's just kind of like when you finished and we were both like wow <laughs> like what yeah you? like what was that <laughs> it's, it's like that and um wow yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and thank just... you for for taking me through that journey and for being that gift and mm. I can't hardly even watch it without having the same experience so I yes. kind of go back into it and remember yes so beautiful yeah. <sighs> <sighs> what a wonderful surprise he um uh, as as you know, I am very as well very close to the raw to find you here, sister. It is a divinely beautiful to find another you know <laughs> sister who is connected to the raw and uh, that that emanates such pure love and infinite love. You are just a gorgeous, gorgeous, a, a divine soul. You are <laughs> of creation. Thank you. <laughs> you are. You are. Yes, and. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't understand it all still, but <laughs> I'm starting to accept it a lot more than, yes, you know, all first. growing up, I had all yes. these really cool and amazing experiences, but yes. no one believes you or it doesn't seem normal. So then you kind of hide it. And yes. when, when you finally accept that, gift and you finally accept that and open it up to the world because it's the world's gift not mine mm -hmm. then you get to actually feel it and experience it <laughs> yes yes and then you did such a beautiful job you're a beautiful example of how what it is is well of course it, it is a beautiful cycle though and a beautiful connection if you feel very comfortable with your hypnosis practitioner you will emanate that and i know since you are practicing hypnosis you will do that as well for your clients they're going to have that natural you know surrender and uh, you did such a beautiful job within your space you were so ready you were you were beautiful again example of what a a um a a divine manner to exist within a frequency of a theta brainwave of hypnosis, what it looks like for if someone is ready to just surrender and allow for that flow to come forth. You were so ready to, you know, bring forth that information from the raw, the raw were so you could feel the vibration and excitement through them as they were speaking yes. through you. It was so powerful and then the beautiful healings that they did. And since then, um, I've had at least two sessions since. I have still have yet to um, edit them, hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. I do have about 10 in the making, but two of those are, there was one where there was a gentleman who watched your video and he was like, I really want to help out my people from um, Mexico. And I think it was maybe like a week after. So we ended up actually um, healing thousands of entities from the hills of Mexico City. And he explained the whole thing, what's going on there and, and that they were there and, and we healed them. And it was 
was it the same team? I can't remember if it was the same team. It might have been a little, little bit slightly off, uh, a different team, but yes, they were helping with sound instruments again, and you just really are inspiring so many. And then there was another lady, she was like, yeah, so keep an eye out for her. She wanted as well a heel, and hers was somewhere else, not in the ether. It was, I can't remember where it was at. I think it might have been inside the earth, but I will have to, yeah. Yes, yes. so I wanted to share that with you. <laughs> thank you mm -hmm. yes that's so beautiful and so many people are relating to to your session they're like wow i'm really fine a connection to the to the divine mother nefertiti all that you said every single word absolutely match with all that's been given to me as the healer that i am and that um you know all of it there was in one word that did not match and it was information that I had been waiting to share with others. And I was really hoping that someday I could get a hypnosis through it because I can share it through a way of channel. Mm -hmm. but it's to me, it's extra special when I have someone else share it and it's, it's a confirmation for us. It's a beautiful way where we're working together as, as a dual here, you know, I'm the hypnosis practitioner. You're the, you're the, client and it's a way to amplify really are the messages yeah so thank you for that opportunity yeah, thank you for being the one that fulfilled that <laughs> oh i am beyond honored it was really interesting to <laughs> just experience what it felt like to have just a different energy swirling and then have them try to find words in my brain and then it would come mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. but then me self was kind of watching it off in the distance. I don't know how to explain it, but it was yes. just phenomenal to, like when they would say the words, I'm like, wow, how'd you find those? Like, <laughs> I don't have those words. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was truly incredible. And to watch it again, there were so many times where I watched you and I remember seeing you but my eyes were closed right so ah. in the hypnosis I was watching wow. you but my eyes were very closed so it was really kind of out of body if mm -hmm. you will. yes yeah wow how fun <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes I have had uh, sessions uh, though that when clients come back and their eyes are closed and they're like I can see everything with my eyes closed. What's going on? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah. Well, that's a cool experience. But tell tell us a, a little bit about. So did you feel like you had a connection with the raw? So what what is your background to it? And out of everything that came out, was this a, as much as a surprise to me to us? Or yeah, it's a surprise to me. I mm -hmm. did have um, very real dreams when I was pregnant with my first daughter, real mm -hmm. dreams about um, men coming and taking my baby out. And I would literally wake up holding my stomach just, just yeah. in terror. Um, mm -hmm. And I had those dreams so many times and I didn't understand them, but I also have been very drawn to the Egyptian all the time. Mm -hmm. And then I have been seeing um, the man that stands behind me as Thoth mm -hmm. and Isis. I find her here and I can feel them and I can hear them. Um, and with Ra, I, oh, how do I explain my connection to him? It's almost as if he's the center. Mm -hmm. Um when I get really deep into my meditations, it's like the center of him or them. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what they were, what it was until the hypnosis. Um, wow. But, so you, you yeah. didn't know the Ra? Mm, I've studied him as, you know, the sun god or whatever they have, but I didn't know everything that came out. I had no idea. Wow. It was really surprising and wonderful. Wow. Um, but I also, with my name, just one day I mm -hmm. started spelling out my name. Instead of a T, I put an I, and then my middle is A-M, and then I, bit, I did a big R, which is like the I of Horus, I of Ra, and then Tamara, so it's I am Ra, and I, mm -hmm. every time I write my name, I recite it, and I don't know where it came from or why. It just showed up one day, and it was just this power, mm -hmm. and so I just kept with it, as strange as it seemed. <laughs> Wow. And yes, I remember uh, them, they saying that in the session, they say every time she signs 
Mm-hmm. She signs her name. She signs who I she do. is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and wow. it's a very deep connection. Like I literally feel it mm-hmm. all through the center when I sign my name and it's super powerful. <laughs> Beautiful. So, yeah. Yes. And we are, you know, within the raw. Have you, so have you heard of the law of one? I did from the comments. You did from the comments. Yeah. So I started reading that and I was completely blown away. (laughs) I was like, what? Uh Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. You were just (laughs) wowing me. (laughs) Yes. Um, The law of one. Phenomenal. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Yes. So if you looked into it, they uh, channel through a channel through a hypnosis sort of manner where they were putting her in a type of theta brainwave and she was having to speak through her and that was back in the 80s in the early 80s so it was very phenomenal to get that type of information very beautiful and and detailed although they tell me um, especially from back then you it was very dense back then you know how dense mm-hmm. it was how it is yeah. now can you imagine being a channel then Wow. Yeah. So there would be a lot of, there would still be some infringement, definitely Mm. higher percentage of infringement um, versus now. And they weren't using any of the sacred alchemy energy work, how we did with the aura. So it is, uh, it was definitely different. They were using some tools for her. I'll let you, if you haven't read the book, uh, definitely read it. They were using some tools. However, um, yeah, they, they did tell me that some of the stuff is, is a little bit off. Like there was inf- some infringement upon the Law of One book. So when you're reading it, just to use your heart discernment and it weed out whatever you feel is from, from the, the highest and best good. But it is a very good, um, you know, kind of like a dictionary in a sense, a, a directory uh, for us who are of the raw, for I am yeah. also Aurora. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I am from the raw yes. as you are, oh. which I haven't um, really shared too much of that. I just really shared that, mm-hmm. you know, my soul family as that, but I am known as as, as that throughout yes. the universe. <laughs> and that's why they were screaming at me to, <laughs> when I found you, it was just this instant Oh, I'm in, like, I love her. Like, I, I want to know oh. her and um, really do what I can to support her. And oh. so that was really beautiful. Oh, love you, love you, yeah. love you. <laughs> <laughs> and that was really amazing, by the way, how you came into the form of the, it was a blue avian. Yeah. Ah. I did you know of the blue avian aliens? No. No. Oh my goodness. I was telling my friends so much of it went against my own like beliefs or understandings that mm-hmm. it, it was kind of difficult for a while to really watch it again and go, now that that <laughs> feels right, but it's like so different than what I was raised with and and I'm so grateful that it came out that way because I felt it and I heard it and I saw it and all of that, you know, like he said, I, I really was there. And so I can believe yes. that more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had <laughs> there's so much I did not know. <laughs> yes. And the blue avian are a special race. Have you had a chance to look into them since? Mm-mm. Oh, no. okay. So they're a special race that do work with the raw and their raw guardians. Mm. Uh, you know, they're, Maybe you could watch uh, I channel Stan Lee on the Guardians, and they're basically the protectors of the um, Omniverse, or the okay. or at least within our belief system. And they go around and they aid humanity. And uh, the Blue Avians are some of the ones that are part of that. That bring messages to us. They're basically big, very tall bird people, and they're very beautiful <laughs> beings. Yes. That's so interesting because I've had so many meditations where I'm sitting there and then I see these great big talons sitting next to me and I'm too afraid to kind of look up, but I, they're mm-hmm. huge. And so I just allow wow. them to be there. <laughs> yes, That's, yes. Wow. <laughs> so continuing that bond with them there would be really good for you. Mm-hmm. And I even love the information you uh, shared about um, uh, Michael and how Michael and Lucifer Hellier are both the same and they're the divine father. Did you know that part? 
I did not. <laughs> that was another that was wow. opposite of what I was taught. <laughs> wow. And I never yes. believed what I was taught, but yeah, it didn't feel it never I just felt right. didn't know what to yeah. I didn't know what to research on that, so I just never did. But when yes. I the way they described it and the way I was able to see it, it was just yes. so <laughs> Oh, I, I don't even have words. It just was very beautiful, like the seed in the tree. I still mm -hmm. see it and then everything that is in between uh -huh. that. I, I don't know how to explain wow. it. <laughs> That's very interesting, you know, because my very first channel, though, it wasn't, it was like, it's not, it wasn't like super good to me. <laughs> it, I had just like, they were one of the most, they were one of my first channels that I did, mm -hmm. Michael and Lucifer Helio. They were my, and they, that was one of their examples to explain who we were. They, <sighs> yeah. Uh-huh. There was a tree and the branches and roots and they, it, it, they explained it very beautifully. So <laughs> you, if you want to watch that, but it, uh, yeah. I warn you, it's not that good as, as, as they are now. Back then, I was just so nervous yeah. and I was like, oh, I can't believe yeah. I'm going to go live channeling. <laughs> it's so scary. Yes. No, no I'm good. <laughs> yeah. So there's another connection for you. So if you needed any more connections, there they are. <laughs> Thank you. The, the fact that you were able to be a surrogate for your, for your children. Wow. I have had parents now coming to me. They're like, I want to be a surrogate for my child. And how can I help my child? I actually just had a session today that was phenomenal. We, we won't be sharing it, but it was off a little boy. So basically what happened is that he, we're going to share more in detail in our next live, but mm -hmm. he's been tormented by um, reptilians actually within him since oh. he was a little boy. And the mother explained that he, when he was young, he would draw like the most gruesome pictures and she had no idea where it's coming from because he wasn't watching anything gruesome. And with the way she explained it, it was like alligator people, she explained. Oh, wow. And she was draw that he was drawing them. And uh, yeah, so we'll go into detail with that session next time. Um, yeah. It won't be a session that won't, we won't be sharing that one um, because uh, it's best to keep it safe. But yeah, I will be sharing it to you all through the live. And th that was one of those parents that had seen your session and now wanted to help out their child. And wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just beautiful. It's definitely also helped me with a lot more. I have a lot of compassion anyways, but I have even more so compassion for those people that seem mean or mm -hmm. what we would call evil. I feel... Mm -hmm. I find I, I'm curious more of what mm -hmm. entities might be in there and what ways we can help them rather than just disregard them. And that's, that's, a, that's something that just opened up in my heart. Like, how can we help that? You know, how can we help them and those entities get to the light? That's, mm. oh, that would be so incredible to free those people and those entities from that. That would be want to do that <laughs> yes it's it's an, a feeling again that we can explain that feels so right in our souls in our essence mm -hmm. in our hearts the the sessions with the especially when you're working with the angelics and your higher self they will really just work with your heart and open you up with that and now once you feel that frequency of being able to help others in that manner, you really see the oneness of everything. Like you step back and you see the wholeness of it. And it's just, it's just like, wow, you know, you see, like you said, you see, you might see a person that might be deemed mean or evil on the street, but now instead of feeling like you want to perhaps judge on them, not that you would before, but instead now you just hold this great compassion for them and this great love that, that really it's just part of you now. It's very naturally yeah. free flowing out of you. Yes. And that's part of how I work with my clients by knowing that frequency and working with it because, you know, us as, as healers, as hypnosis practitioners, it's important that we take every session with great honor. And uh, one of my favorite lines, I was watching Spider-Man today, Stan Lee, that one of my favorite lines is he wrote for Spider-Man. Uh, for Uncle Ben. Yes. Um, yes. 
with great power comes great responsibility and yes it is it is one of my favorite lines because um how many times has power been misused in in humanity so remembering that with great power comes great responsibility a responsibility to lead and to help others with a heart frequency yes yeah yes <laughs> thank you well it has been such a beautiful honor to have you here and i people are going to be so excited to hear back from you and to hear to hear how you're doing and you you are truly just emanating such divine pure love and it, you know i would i would be one if i was a client i would definitely trust you know myself in you and thank you thank you for the service that you are doing every day in your life because i feel it and thank you for the service that you did for humanity and you will continue to do so because pe people will continue to watch that video and you will help many 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 infinitely a ripple a beautiful ripple just like our beautiful dolores used to explain a creation is infinite upon itself and there's parallel um, viewings upon everything so thank you yeah thank you it's yeah it's so fun because i know if if this can emanate out of me it emanates out of everybody and for everybody to be able to see that within themselves mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I honor you. And I thank you. And I respect you. I love you. And I honor you too. Thank you. Thank you.